then wow, look at this big one for Stevens. It says Mary and Sam. Hard to make out the dates. I can make out a 1858, I believe, born. Look at that statue. Imagine what that thing would have cost. And it's, it's a guy up there, it looks like, and he's got a, a big thing of, of roses, looks like to me, on his lap. Doesn't seem to be nobody here, so I think it's safe to walk through here. So I'll just show you this. This is a labyrinth. Let me, let me take this up. This looks like a pretty big plot right here, but there's only a couple of stones in it. Um, this one, it says Laura H. Gibbons. Looks like she died in 1955. And I'm not 100% sure about the, the birth year. This one says Barrett. Let's see. Looks like Omer. Omer Roscoe or something. 1892 to 1919. Maybe died in World War I. And Elmer Gertrude, 1888 to 1970. Okay. Now we got these old ones over here that they for the most part seem to be pretty thin on the reading see that's a that's a much newer one so let's let's keep going if you look at this it looks like stacked wood down here at the bottom and then this looks like a part of an old cut log right if you walk around here and look i want to just show you this first if you can read this it says woodman of the world memorial and then that's got like well there's like a stump right there this is the guy they have an actual picture of him that's what he looked like his name was frank white he was born october the 18th of 1884 and he died july 20th of 1913 he was 28 years old so he's very very young you see down at the bottom you can see the the, the wood stack that you know it looks like there and then over on this side, down at the bottom, and then right there. So, pretty pretty wild there. These were born, these were in the 1900s here, but hopefully you, you appreciate that like I do. That's pretty neat. Let's see what else we got. Hey, right, you see that? That says baby. Okay. Right there says Helen Adelaide Evans, September the 4th of 1913. And here's the odd part. This is baby. Right there's mother. All right, hopefully you can see both of these. But this one says mother, and here's the thing. This is not the mother of that baby right there, because this is Jane Hester, and she was born September 17th of 1847. She died November 3rd of 1912. She, she died the year before that baby was born. So, perhaps grandmother maybe i'm thinking that's maybe a grandmother actually but it says mother and then of course baby so very strange and then over here you can see that look we've got these are robinson's lube it's like lube z robinson and if you see there that's his father right here beside it it says lee d robinson he uh, was born May 11th of 87, died in 14. It says father. And here is Virginia Robinson, born March 18th of 1865 and born, I mean, died April the 13th of 1916, looks like. And it says mother. So we got mother, father, father. And then over here, say this is Robinson here. 
Debbie E. from 1895-1970 and Grace from 1904-1984. So, a bit of a mystery. Alright, so here, you look right down here, this goes around. This is a pretty good sized plot. Number of people here. But the one that really catches my eye is the one up there. Let's go around. You can see about that. Okay, let's see. This, it's got a dove on it. It says, Little Dan, son of H.H. and Mary E. Carmichael, born June 13, 88, died April the 23rd of 1890. So not even two years old. So yeah, that's, uh, what a, what a memorial and what a tragedy. But look through here. Let me just spin you around here. We started from right back over there a moment ago. And then there's all these stones here. So, just want to see how old. Yeah, see this one. Elizabeth Jane Reisinger. She was born in Marion County, Alabama, March 10th of 1828, and died in Bandera, Texas, May 8th, 1900. 72 years old. Wow. And this one, harder to read. It's a Carmichael, though, for sure. October something of 1822, and looks like maybe went to 1903. All right, we'll go over here. We'll take a look at those over, over there. So, we'll go and take a look here. Here's Chester and Ernestine. Chandler, uh, he was born 1890, died in 1962, and she was 1898 to 1975. And then you got just this right here with these stones. Harold W. Brooks, Texas Major, Army Air Force, World War II. Okay, and this one says Daddy, Harold W. Brooks, August 18th of 16, April 26th of, of 1962, so... Interesting. Very interesting. So it's, okay, so it's the same stone actually for the same person. The dates are the same. Anyway, we'll go we'll go down here and take a look. Alright, so you see this stone here it says Cupper. And it's actually made like like two Bibles up here. This is Roland Charles, June twenty fourth, nineteen oh forty, July eighth of, of nineteen eighty nine, so not all that long ago. And then this one is Winifred Thalman, April 1st, 1900 to August 12th, 1974. Teacher, shepherder, loved by Ali. Okay. Not sure about that, but then right down here. Somebody from 1906 to 1955. Boy, that stone's just in bad shape to be that young. And yeah, these are hard to read too. But you can see this is a pretty good sized plot here. Then we got more over there we'll go take a look at. And that's the, the woodman that I've shown you. Or no, actually it's a different one. The one I showed you was down there. Alright, let's go look. And there's another woodman right there. So, quite a few of those guys in here. Now, this is the plots that we were just looking at. I just wanted you to see this wall. That, that wall's up a good, I don't know, 10 inches. It gets a little more there down, down that far, but pretty cool. I like that. This one here says father on top of it. Looks like he died in 1922. He was born in 1855. And this one here says mother on top of it. And she died... In 1910, she was born in 1956. This one, 1891 to 1989. So, 98 years old? All right. Let's go uh, look a little bit more. In fact, here I want to show you while I'm here. This is the whole Mansfield plot here, it looks like. 
but just the, the two stones right here I think are very interesting I like the shapes of them let's see it looks like um, the one on the left is Andrew and he was born July 9th 1887 and died February 23rd of 1897 wow what and then this one says Laura born May 7th 1846 and died in May 12th of 1917 so Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right, we'll look at these others, and then we'll close this out. That one there is very hard for me to make out the actual writing. And that one's 1837, I want to say, to 1926, July the 4th. Mary T., wife of John Weldon. And that looks like to be John Weldon down there next to her. There's pretty old graves in this graveyard is one thing I want you to take away. All right, let's go find out. We'll see what else we can see. These are definitely little kids. You see, so they got little lambs. There's two of these side by side. They got what looks like little logs and then lamb. This one looks to have been born September the 10th of, I want to say, 1811 and died 1815 or maybe it's 1911 and 1915 I'm not 100% sure but this one definitely is 1918 to 1921 looks like June 23rd to July the 27th so just over three years old is this one wow and then that no doubt is the parents there so certainly suffered some heartbreak in, in their time my goodness all right, we're going to finish this video with this tree here. My wife, this was her idea. She said this is what most people would think about as a scary tree in a cemetery. So that it'd be a good way to close this out. Of course, it's sunny. It don't look scary. But if it was dark or foggy or something, it definitely would look way scarier. So that'll be the end of the video. I hope you liked it. This has been the Bandera, Texas uh, Cemetery. Take care of yourselves now.